Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's adventure and Starmade. What's going on, man? It's been so long, and so yeah, here we go. I'm going to show you kind of what I've been up to here. So I had the urge to play Starmade, and I'll show you. So this is kind of part of the new f features of Starmade. They added these rail dockers here onto the the shops. So now basically you can attach your ship to one of these things and kind of be safe uh, for kind of like the starting players. There's been some updates and so they changed the key bindings a lot. Uh, Zed now goes in between the flight and, and build mode. And we need to... how do we release? Uh, do we... yeah, yeah, that's right. We tap the, the rail docker. There's Newtonian physics, so that is awesome so if I press forward here a bit see that it's gonna whoa oh, wow almost crashed <laughs> oh brutal that's awesome okay I also created a salvager um, let's see here we radar jammer uh, here we go salvage computer so it's kinda moved forward so this kinda works not too shabby but it works. So, so why am I playing StarMate again? Well, I was reading kind of the the patch notes of the the recent patch here, and yeah, it looks like they're they're kind of making some really good headway with the the systems. You know, a couple key systems are are fleets. That's very important to me. And another system that they're going to be working on after I hope would be the the NPCs. Uh, the NPC crews, because that is definitely something that I would like. Um, I've also turned on in the settings for these asteroids once they all become mined out, that they'll they'll grow back slowly. So I have that where they'll come back after about an hour. So it forces us to kind of move around and and not really mine out one sector at a time. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, and so this is what I've been doing. I've been doing this, collecting resources. So let's kind of take a look at the ship here. So on the ship here, we have, of course, the usual some thrusters. We will have our array of cannons for protection with these uh, salvage beams in here. I'm kind of trying to think of an array of beams that would make sense. So yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing there. I'm more just collecting the blocks, attaching them to this, and and yeah, and it's pretty cool. Here I put the storage block at the back, and then these are the the storage areas. These these nine, I think it's ten blocks. And so you see, see here, you already see some storage happening, which is freaking cool. I love that. I love the the representation of the storage, just amazing. And yeah, and so I've been doing this. So. My plans for start for StarMade. I have a bunch of plans here for this. So with with all the new recent advances in StarMade, you know, with the with them working on the fleets and whatnot, uh, I feel it's time to return to the game and to build. Now my uh, my internet connection at home is kind of wonky at times, and it's not always 100% stable. So I used to have a server that I paid for, which I got some good mileage out of. But, I don't know, it just, you know, enough people were on there. Um, Lushable Echo was kind of busy, and so he couldn't really build anything on there. And we kind of did a couple episodes, but, yeah, unfortunately, it just, you know, these games just take a lot of time commitment, especially this kind of survival aspect where we have to harvest our resources, and then we have to you process them, sell them at a station, and... Yeah, so it's just it's it's just time consuming. So right now, you know, my wife is putting away our little guy, you know, putting him to bed, and I'm getting the opportunity here while it's quiet to record. And so yeah, so so because I've caught up with the the seven days to die footage, it's a lot easier for me to kind of create new content. And so yeah, so here's some StarMade. So so my plans in StarMade are basically to build ships um, I have a certain style that I want to go for and so basically right now we're just going into harvest mode 
and we're we're basically collecting these resources and then we're gonna have to find a nearby planet let's see here let's kind of back up a bit um, I don't like this new kind of way how it moves around because it's kind of really wonky I think it, this might be the closest planet let's just kind of do a quick spin around yeah I think that would be the closest one okay so let's do that so let's fly towards this planet and see what happens if we go map I think that would be this orange one which then there's oh a trade station alpha next to it then there's another shop up here so let us do that let's actually move towards this planet here so I, I double clicked on it um, I think we can go plot path to current perfect you go M for map and yeah that's the one so I'm gonna move forward we can brace basically press up until until we don't have to anymore so it's pretty cool pretty freaking cool so here we go full speed and we're actually approaching relatively fast they did change the speeds what's this what's this that's the trade station ah we're gonna crash Ah, backwards pushing backwards oh brutal man look at the lag uh, is it because I'm trying to record so one thing I don't like about StarMade is just the lag from this kind of stuff I'm not sure why it's that way but yeah I'm playing the game in 1280 by 720 resolution but it's still just not enough look at that it's probably because it's trying to generate the planet I've I haven't visited the planet yet, so let's kind of move away. Uh, the, we did pass by it. Where was it? Trade station. Where is it? Uh, oh, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see if we can fly. Oh, this is brutal. Come on, a little bit slower. Slow down. Okay, that's... Yeah, this is too bad. I wish... My frames are dropping, and it's terrible. Uh, but the lag you're seeing is very real, and you are definitely totally seeing that. Let's kind of see if we can, if we can, kind of enter the atmosphere here. Oh, this looks like a good place to land. So let's check this out. Okay. go up a bit yeah isn't that cool oh now there's gravity okay so we should be able to do shift okay but we should be able to go up yeah no we have enough thrust that's basically the caveat let's see here maybe can we land flat boof oof okay there we go I think we've landed so hopefully the ship doesn't do any kind of crazy stuff when we hop out oh stay stay perfect okay so we got our ship we got a bunch of stuff here that we can kind of look at which is neat okay there's some oh look at this cave maybe we can build our base out of this thing here make a big landing pad area here and we can build a base inside here maybe i'm just going to kind of walk over here and kind of check this out okay cool maybe we'll build it on the planet here we got star here now there should be a day and night cycle let's see if that actually moves i think it's moving okay cool so that's awesome so we're let's start our kind of project here so we need power capacitors or we need power reactor modules and we need some power capacitors we need capsule refinery, red light we don't need, we need the build block, uh, we got the basic, standard and advanced f factory, we also need the cargo space here, man that's a lot of stuff, do we need mining beam or does it mine automatically, let's see here, let's put actually a builder block right here on this plate, so about what, here, uh, let's, it's left click, okay, so let's hop into here okay now we're in build mode so I want to utilize this space here so let's see here 
what happens if we sh um, inventory? Where's the rock? I oh, hear this rock. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just kind of trying to see if it makes sense. Let's take out this rock as well. Let's, we'll take this out. Can I right click and drag? No, I can't do that. Okay, let's just place these bad boys here. Like so. Okay, perfect. So we got a little square carved out here. Now, power capacitor or power reactor. It doesn't matter for now. So let's kind of stack them and then spread it out like this. Okay, got that. Then we want to put our capsule refinery right here. Right? Capsule. Ooh. Place a control bot without having a controller selected. So what the heck does that mean? Uh, looks like it is operating. Okay. So we got that. Maybe we can put basic factory here. Maybe we can put standard factory here. And maybe we can put that one right there. So, how do we look at energy? Where is energy? Uh, 500. Okay, so we should have enough energy to run these. Uh, let's just open these up. Deactivate production. Because it's using senseless energy. <laughs> we don't want that. Now... I want to experiment with these. I think you can use switches to turn them on and off, but I'm not 100%. I have no idea how that stuff works. So, yeah. So, let's put a cargo spot right here. Okay. And storage. Can I shift? Uh, no. Shift a mouse wheel to zoom. Press Z for flight mode, hold shift and press X. A left control. There we go, that's what I wanted. I want to see if we can yeah, do this. The left click. Perfect. Okay. And then we need to place our cargo spaces. So maybe we'll put the cargo spaces back here. See see how they form? So we'll just kind of I don't know if I want to do you or utilize that many cargo spaces. Um, let's do generic cargo in the back for for this thing. Shift. Oop. So I want to go C, Shift, V. Perfect. Okay. Now these bad boys. I want to go C, and then C, V, C, V, C. V, C, V. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do something like this. Oh, crap. No, that's no good. I wanted to do something like this. And then all of these would, would utilize this inventory system. Right? And yeah, and then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer our, our resources to here and, and go from there. Uh, do I have any rail dockers on me here? I do have a rail docker. So let's actually place the faction module. You can place that bad boy here. Let's activate it. You have to be owner of the structure or in a faction. So how do I create a faction? Um, let's hop up. Okay, cool. Let's hop out of the build block. Let's go inventory. There should be faction here. There's pirates and trading guild. Okay. So let's go create faction. And we just go, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Demurian Empire. Perfect. Okay. Now we got 100 faction points. Diplomacy offer. That is interesting. Okay, so now we have a faction. 
So that is awesome. I should go back into that faction screen here. I wish I knew the key shortcuts for these. There's diplomacy. There's members. There's news. We can you put descriptions, news. That's kind of cool. So yeah, okay. So we got the faction. So now if we activate this thing, we go reset faction signature. Let me go enter faction signatures. Now, now the now it belongs to the Demurian Empire, and this is all now f faction locked and creative mode. I wonder what that is. Hmm. I have access to the admin commands, so yeah. So potentially that's probably what that is. So some of you might not have this if you're. Yeah, some of you just might not have it. Um. So we need rail basic because this will allow us to dock. Where do we want to dock? Well, maybe we should just dock right here for now. Okay, so let's go into our build block here. So maybe we should create a dock right in here. Uh, let's get rid of that, that, and that. Just get rid of these but you guys here as well, just in case. And then the rail docker, or the rail, or whatever this is. Let's see here. If we place it like that. Okay, if we hop out, let's run to our ship and dock it. Because it's faction protected, right? So uh, shift makes you walk, it looks like. This looks like this is cactus. Does it hurt me? No, but it does have a cactus texture. Let's kind of hop onto our ship here. Okay, uh, let's fly up. Uh, come on, stupid. The system here with the scroll wheel, it's opposite. So let's see, rail docker. Woo! Bang! Here we go. Out we go. Ship is nicely docked. Now, what I hope to do one day is to connect this w with our system. I'm um, here is kind of what I'm I'm hoping that we're able to do so we do that uh, this should become empty yeah this should become empty I hope man I'm getting brutal lag here this is crazy that's too bad man I was hoping that they kind of fixed some stuff but yeah it looks like they still need to optimize so we need to dump everything into here that's it can I shift click looks like I can Okay, um, auto pull. Are these auto pulling? So, what if I go C? So, C, oops, C, and V, 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 and V. So, this thing change items to auto pull, add all, and let's do it at 100 units. A shot, and then this bad boy can basically activate production. Okay, where are these coming from? Laramar, Certis. Oh, see, I don't want it to make and. Um, is it pulling? Oh yeah, no, it is pulling. So what exactly is it making? Uh, let's see, view production recipes. So they will all turn into capsules. Oh, I see the 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 ores will convert into metal meshes and stuff. Okay, I'm cool with that because we need pieces like that. So okay, so we can activate this and we can have this operating. So that is fine. And now what should be happening is it'll it, it, it will be pulled out of these guys into here right or sorry from it's gonna take stuff from here it's going to you refine and then pop it back into here and that's kind of the plan and I'm kind of glad they've done that and then from here you can then kind of put it into other storage systems all around but yeah but I think we're gonna build the base inside here maybe we'll convert all of this into a base I don't know it depends how long we play for we have this, we're faction protected, so hopefully everything will be a-okay. 
so yeah so thank you everybody for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode hopefully I can figure out my performance issues and if not well that's fine you know so what I might do is go on a harvesting run come back here process the the, the resources and then carry on again I'm just gonna check this and it should be zero I don't see anything in here not sure why this block is visible maybe it's it doesn't get updated till you you enter the ship hmm not too sure about that one so yeah so thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye